Welcome back again to Smart Debord. Another custom run you may ask. I think I found the mix of stability and super gaming ROM and you know also good battery life and great performance. But before I start going into this one, I want you to, as usual, just if you can click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon because there is so much, much, much more we have on this one. And this is Carbon ROM version 8.0. Um, it was spotted by the developer Nitron and he he gave me aliases thanks man so i tested this in a whole lot and i can tell you from my test this is one of the best rom out there for Remi X2. I'm, I'm not, I've tested a lot of them. Now, there is something special about this guy because the customization is very, very, very straight to the point. He has like few customizing uh, buttons, few customize. This is all the customization setting. As you can see it here, they have um, a whole lot of things you can customize from it, from the status bar icon to the battery style to traffic uh, speed indicator, data traffic speed indicator and all those basic settings which i personally like which probably you don't get all this thing maybe in lineage os which is still very very strong and very stable okay so it's not as customizable as the havoc the code the evo the depth first and all of that but it is very 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 i mean it's the perfect mix kind of in between it has the basic customizations and then it also got Good stability there is also that off screen power uh, screen touch you can invert the navigation and turn it around uh, if you want uh, it's got few but straight to the point um, Later. So as we go in, I'm going to show you in, in less than five minutes, you can actually set everything you need to do in customizing this phone. I mean, it's that simple. Um, but as we go in here, if you are a gamer, uh, you, you have to wait till the beginning, to, sorry, till the middle of the of the review where you can see my anti to benchmark. There is also dark mode and you might want to worry. Hey, the dark mode is not pure black, right? It's not peach black and all this stuff, but relax. There's a way to, you know, set it down but it is inside the display and the style and wallpaper setting so if you see here there is nothing that you can do about the dark mode but when you go to the style and wallpapers and then maybe you can actually edit the one or you just create a new one for yourself where you can set the icon types the accent colors you can choose anything you want but when you come here right now the primary colors uh when you see able to see the the pitch black and then you can also see other ocean and then nature and all that so i always like to keep it pitch black so with that you can name it anything you want and once you're done you get that full pitch black and it's always beautiful in amulet screen where you have that pitch black okay so um that's um a little bit about the customization i'm going to move on the good thing about the dark mode is that it affects every other app as you can see google play store and also it affects um not just google play store it affects a uh, google app it affects though they are not as dark as they should but at least it gives you that dark mode even the call ui is also affected once you switch to the dark mode all the app that have the dark mode gets the dark mode most of the apps you know also get to receive the dark mode the camera the, the performance is so 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 sweet i'm going to show you details um the the ui is smooth there's no lag it's just fluid smooth af if you like and then there is also the call the dialer here is android open source dialer it looks cool everything is working but there is actually no call recording in the ui so that's something to note if you're the person that like call recording uh but the dark mode also affects it automatically if you turn on dark mode it also affects the call the camera is just a normal camera in all uh um custom run for Remi x2 uh, and it's it's okay it's manageable but you can always do gcam we have a lot of gcam videos here the fingerprint is beautiful but even much more than that is the fingerprint registration i'm gonna let it flow here for you to see and this is uh this really this uh capture was from the uh test build and after that there was some updates on the foot uh, settings foot icons and improvements so it's gonna even be faster than what you're seeing right now 
and um, it's been released today so that's why i just wanted to bring out this video today so you can see it and if you want to check it out you check it out it's a very powerful customer and now we're going to go into benchmark after this and gaming so if you're a gamer uh, just just stay tuned now the fingerprint also after re registering the reading is quite fast you know it's very very fast now when it comes to benchmark i like jig bench more but even at that uh creamy ui <laughs> is on the left of my screen and you can see um this guy did better than it um but they actually matched in the gpu test you know they got the same score in the gpu test so i, I feel that Antutu uh, Antutu is not as reliable as jigbench so i use jigbench a lot but when it came to Antutu benchmark this carbon rom blew Remy UI away. When I mean away, it, it was it was a pity. I have to try uh, <laughs> and to benchmark over and over in the Remy UI. I have to try it over and over again. It didn't go beyond that to 20. I don't know why. That's lower. But this guy it's better in terms of the benchmark but not just that even in the real gaming you will feel the difference with this room when you're playing i think i played this game severally with remy ui this asphalt uh, but one problem is that it doesn't have gaming mode that's you know stops notification as you can see notification you know can pop up even when you're gaming so it doesn't have a dedicated gaming mode i think that's the only letdown about gaming but in terms of performance of gaming and stuff is one of the best i've seen in Dream x2 then let's go to <laughs> pog g so we're the pog g fans right here so you want to find a rom that can play pog g let's push it to the highest setting and let's check this guy out now believe me this is the setting as you can see here we are on the smooth extreme and i played it for over 30 minutes a apart from the game being very very um apart from it being very 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 smooth Apart from it being very, very smooth, this uh, PUBG Play, there is something that you have to notice about this. The battery drain and the level, the thermal level of the phone was just excellent. I mean, it, it was like, I, as I was doing, it, 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 the phone didn't even heat up. It was like I was, you know, I was kind of shocked. It was like I was using the phone normally for everything, but I was playing uh, PUBG on the extreme graphics and that is something of beauty that is something that if you're a gamer you want to play PUBG without any hassle on your custom rom i think i will recommend highly recommend this rom in fact I, I i want people to really test it out for them they're still based on on an android pile so you have to flash um color os 6.1 the one that's the best one for your device before you flash this one but very soon uh all rounds will be moving to android q base so from remy ui you could just put it on so uh the next video you need to watch the next video i'm going to do on remy 2 because remy x2 because i'm going to be doing a video about all the migration how you move to Android 10, Android Q based ROMs. So you don't need to downgrade again to Flash Custom ROM. Uh, it's out now. Lineage OS is out that is based on Android 10. And I'll be doing the next video about that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe. I'll see you.